Hi everyone, what a thrill it is to be here accepting the very first Michael Feingold Award on behalf of Maestro Music. When I was a student at NYU in the 90s, I used to walk past the offices of the Village Voice every day and I wanted desperately to be part of the theatrical world that was reflected in that publication's pages. So it's truly an honor to be part of Michael Feingold's legacy in this way. Maestro Music is a not-for-profit organization that I founded in 2017 to provide support, visibility, and community for the women and non-binary people who make the music in the musical theater. Our membership is made up of composers and music directors, orchestrators, arrangers, copyists, rehearsal pianists, and the other instrumentalists who are an underrepresented minority in the industry. The idea for this organization was born when I was the music director of the production of Sweet Charity Off-Broadway. It was directed by Lee Silverman in 2016, and she asked our orchestrator, Mary Mitchell Campbell, and me to hire an all-female band. It was so much harder than I thought it was going to be, and I wanted to provide resources for other people to see the women that I had, that I had, had so much trouble finding. Now, six years later, Maestra has an online directory with over 1,700 members, a mentorship program with 65 mentor and mentee pairings, several robust regional and affinity groups, and an enormous initiative called Get to Work that aggregates resources and shines a spotlight on the organizations doing the change-making DEIA work in theaters all across the country. In the eight and a half years between 2011 and 2019, there were 113 shows on Broadway. Among those shows, there were 1,489 chairs for musicians, and of those chair holders, 318 were women. That's 22%. 18 of those orchestra pits were entirely male, 100%, no women at all. So in 2021, we partnered with the Musicians Union in New York City to survey their membership, and we found that 67% of the membership is male, and 86% of the membership is white. It's so much harder for a woman, or a person of color, or a gender non-conforming person to get a job, even if they are an excellent musician. Maestra and our team at Get to Work are endeavoring to educate the industry about why this is a problem, and to provide the tools for changing it because we must change it. We owe it to every little girl who takes piano lessons and loves musical theater, but only sees men in tuxedos conducting the orchestras. As Janine Torsori said when she won her Tony Award for Fun Home, for girls, you have to see it to be it. Maestra is here to illuminate the pathways, to tell the young girls and non-binary musicians that they should keep practicing, and to welcome them when they show up at the theater. Thank you to the American Theatre Wing for recognizing the importance of this work and for honoring our board, our staff, our volunteers, and our allies who are bringing our mission to life. We are so happy to be here.